anywhere near that anymore. Ball on a ball. Oh, Why would you need that? Let's say hi to Chris in Columbus. Touch screen accelerometer. Hey, uh, Bill, what you really need to go to the races is either a radio to hear the radio broadcast or a scanner where you can hear the in-car audio, the scanner. communication. Because without that, you're, you're really missing the boat. And as far as they're being idiots, the Oakland A's have three guys on their roster with college degrees, which is the most of any team in MLB. You'll have at least that many college degrees and the guys jumping over the wall to change tires in any, any car race. Hey, is that, right. wait, 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 wait. Is that really true? Yeah, most of the Major League studies. Baseball guys don't have college degrees? No. I mean, they're, all <laughs> I mean, they're guys that maybe go to college for a year or two. But, yeah, there was just a study. The Oakland Athletics wow. leads the majors in degree holders. They only have three on their roster. See, I would believe wow. that for the NBA just because a lot of the guys are, you know, bailing early and stuff. I didn't know that baseball players bailed well, early. Most of them from the Dominican well, Republic at this point. Yeah, that's Don't true, they too. just come yeah. straight into a farm team? So they go a college, couple years of college and go right into a farm system. <laughs> The status symbol for players to go back and finish up their coursework after they're in the league. Because Michael Jordan went back and got his degree. Shaquille has an MBA. Yeah, just in case he wants to go and get a job right. somewhere, a, a nice exactly. office position. Well, that's why I always laugh when these dopey um, sports shows talk about like it's not good that these guys are leaving college early to start a multi-million dollar fucking career. Yeah, yeah and on any given play, are you, 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 you can blow out your knee. Yeah, but you. Yeah, yeah. But they're insured and they're they're gonna they're gonna fatten up their bank accounts. And isn't that what we all want in life? Yeah, exactly. So if but you could fatten radio. up your bank account immediately, why would you continue playing college basketball and sacrifice losing, you know, your knee or something and never getting that I chance? I think college kids should get paid. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm, more, more than like the, the free Absolutely. education. Dude, college the amount education. Of money they bring in for college basketball and the, and the universities universities themselves. Yeah, if you course. play in the, if you play for Michigan yeah. or Ohio State, I mean the 100,000 people coming to the I mean, I know that that you're also like the 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 program was there before you got there, but you also you you keep it going through the college education. Unless you're gonna be a fucking doctor or something or an engineer or something like that. If you just some a majoring in business, a majoring like me communications, it's fucking stupid. College, uh, yeah, it's a total rip off. You end up leaving yes. there. You're, you're fifty grand in debt if you're lucky. Yeah, you're right. A college so degree is a waste of time, dude. In and, most and, cases. and the whole thing. in most cases, yeah. You, go, you, you show up to the classes. Half I've been talking about some of my act. Half the classes I took, the required reading was a book that the fucking teacher wrote. It's like he's hustling us. Oh, yeah. shit. He sh he's like a rapper. He's like selling them out of the trunk of his car. It's like. And then you leave college and you're, you're like fifty, sixty, seventy thousand dollars $70,000 in debt. Yeah. Unless you're lucky enough to have your parents, you know, fucking do uh, the right thing if they could for you. But most of the, the the students out there are paying their own loans back. Oh, yeah, you're fucked. So Man. all of a sudden, you you enter the working world in debt already. Behind. You you're you, behind. I, you qualify for a credit card. You're fucked. Most kids, but before they even make the dumb move on knocking some girl up in your 20s, the stupidest fucking thing you could ever do mm. is, is they, they, they already, they're already like, dude, you know, 100 grand in debt, 80 went, grand in debt. By the end of my first semester in college, I realized it was a bunch of horse shit. I knew I wanted to get into radio, but it was no guarantee. But they had a radio station, so I'm like, well, this isn't horseshit because this is something I really want to learn. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work at the college radio station. If it wasn't for that, I would have bailed and fucking filed a Grateful Dead or something, get a life experience. Yeah. <laughs> for real. Yeah, I, uh, my alma mater was twenty two grand a year when I graduated, and they just caught, crossed the $50,000 a year threshold this year. <laughs> and that was 17 years ago I graduated, and I cannot believe – that that education has improved that much in that p period ha, of time. Right. Yeah. Right. No. What you got? You know, you got bankers printing money with no gold behind uh, it. Just drives exactly. up the prices of shit. It's all bullshit. I went back to my uh, my college. Actually, it's been a couple of years now, Geneseo, and they jacked up the prices to go there for the same horseshit fucking campus and horseshit place. Yeah. If they all go it's after a, big nothing oil, changed, like this guy said. They jack up the prices so they can buy more real estate and buildings with your fucking money as you're yeah. getting the same two plus two equals four. Yeah. As uh, you I, also said, uh, Bill, they keep keep you in debt. That's, the, they that's everyone's about, mission. They bitch about big oil in this country. Why don't they bitch about big education? I mean, those guys have a license to, to set the price whatever they want. And not everybody <coughs> needs to go to college. They, they completely devalue people going into the trades. 
that's what they need to be focusing on. You know, get people out to get to be able to be viable and get a job without a worthless piece of paper. World because, needs ditch diggers too, you know. Right. <laughs> I'm with Bill. But don't listen to us. I mean, we're, no, these I, are just I, dumb I, opinions. There's I, probably I a lot a, of kids out there that will now drop out. No, I, yeah, I, I did it. a college kick. My experience, it was a waste of time. I did a college kick, and this kid, the, the, the teacher was telling these kids, most of the stuff you're majoring in, the jobs aren't going to you know, technically really exist. Mm -hmm. Just how rapidly shit is changing with technology now. So right. I don't know, man. If you get like three, four guys, you have a business idea and start like a website. I mean, that seems to be like the, yeah. the quickest way. Because other than that, you're well, just some drone. To millions. And why? Well, I, you, you don't go broke, but you're just sort of eking along, making somebody else's dream come true. I yeah, think it's, yeah. it's a f dumb way to go. I was discussing this with someone recently, and why don't they teach us stuff that we really need to know, like how to fucking get a mortgage, how to not get ripped off how getting a mortgage. How to do the math on a mortgage. How to fucking, yeah, balance a budget. You know, stuff that you really use in life. No. You know what I mean? Got to learn about Mesopotamia. Yeah, right. Fucking you you head out into how, the real how, world without a fucking clue yeah. on any of this stuff that you really need to know. How Bizarre. banking is legalized loan sharking. <laughs> <laughs> I had an argument with this guy. Anytime I ever yeah. bring that argument, I go, what's the difference between loan sharking and banking? They go, well, well, a fucking bank won't break your legs. They always think that's a great point. It's like, because they don't have to, you shithead. No. Mm -hmm. They'll take your house. <laughs> yeah, repossess your car, destroy your credit. Would the reason you why I loan have shark a broken a... leg or fucking, you know, your ruined credit rating, no house, living yeah. on the street, motherfucker. The right. reason why a loan shark breaks your leg is because what he does is not legal. Because you're like, I'm not going to pay you. What are you going to do, yeah, take yeah. me to court, yeah. call a cop, and then he snaps your leg? Oh, okay, I get it. <laughs> I get it. I get I'll it. have that for you on Thursday. All right, all right, kid. I got it. <laughs> I got all right. It. I got Today. It. Today. Today. 48 Major League Baseball players have college degrees. 48? 48. Yeah, something I, tells me there's a lot more players fuck, than 48. Fuck, I learned something today. For some reason, I thought baseball guys uh, got their degrees. Hmm. Let's say hi to Brendan in San Diego. Brendan. Hey, boys. Hey. Hey, you're looking now on opening day this year in baseball. 29% of the starters were born outside of America. 28%, huh? That makes sense, though. Mm-hmm. It, yeah. It's truly an international sport. I would have thought it would have been a lot higher. Yeah. Tops and then the other half. thing is the ex-running back for the Denver Broncos, Tatum Bell, at the beginning of the season, he was working at a kiosk in the mall selling phones. Oh. That's not good. Mm -hmm. No, they don't put their money away. They don't know what to do. <laughs> right. Yeah, because you don't learn that stuff. No. You just assume the money's going to last forever. Well, you get a no, million dollars, you think you have a million dollars, you don't realize it's really like about 350 grand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Once everybody takes their piece for helping you, and then the government comes along and takes a big whack out of it. So then you go out and buy a fucking $400,000 car, and you're going to buy your mom's a house. <laughs> no. <laughs> you're right. you're yeah, fucked. So and then you blow out your fucking knee, and then you're working the kiosk selling fucking Verizons. Mm -hmm. The best is when you buy it. Uh, before the IRS takes their chunk, and oh. then they come back and go, "Hey, Hello. where's our where's our cut? Oh wait, but I spent it. Oh yeah, did you on what that house? Dude, this our house. <laughs> the only way to win, if you want to get off the wheel, is uh, is to fucking make a million a year and live like you make fifty a year, and then you just pay Elvis taxes. Yeah, they're gonna take nine hundred of it away, but you That's won't it. be in debt." Yeah. And you just you just that's the only way to win. But they will they will not let you get rich unless you come no. up with some fucking unbelievable idea where they can make way more fucking money off of you. Other than that, it's like hail. They just keep fucking punching you in the face with some sort of you, it's like a certain number you just can't get past. They, they fucking choke you out yeah, yeah. and just take you down to the mat. You're like, all right, all right. Sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, I was trying to get rich. I like Almost the hell idea. They leave you outside in the hell until they you do. go, all right, I need your help. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll go inside. Uh, Anthony in Florida. Fucking scam. The best, the best inbred racing in the country has got to be in Naples, Florida, the Swamp Buggy Races. Oh, shit. Oh, that was great. That's, that's uh, for you, Bill. Used to watch that on the old fucking ESPN country two. TNN, the Nashville <laughs> Network. Used to watch that. Yeah, it's the uh, Swamp Buggy Races here to, in the swamp. He's going through the sippy hole. And he's coming around out by the mud pit. There's all these fucking backwards motherfuckers with no teeth riding these, yeah, these things. Yeah, but do you realize, seriously, though, the ability that you have to do? <laughs> to build like, that how, how do you keep the engine dry or whatever the fuck you get? Exactly. They figured out. Look at these gotta, guys. Like, and you got to just slide through those they're turns. They're driving on water. Oh, yeah. 
at the end of the race, there's a Miss Swamp Buggy that dives into the sippy hole. Yes, Miss <laughs> Swamp Buggy. That rules. Yeah, it jumps in with the winner. Very I used good. to watch that shit. You know what I, I love about it? was exciting when cable, like, when cable first had, like, all these channels of this shit. And all of a sudden, you're like, God, I could just watch bull riding if I want or watch I know, this great. bullshit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what's funny about, like, most of the cars that you see there? All of them are modified. Yeah. For as much shit as rednecks get, I mean, they, it's not like they're idiots. Yeah, they can they, figure they, out how to turn socially, a fucking Socially, sometimes they have backward views of looking at people, <laughs> but those sons of bitches. They My car looks exactly fucking... the way it looked like from the factory. <laughs> they sure know how to fucking uh I put a Corvette shit. engine in it. <laughs> How'd you do that? I put some steel balls out the back to let people know what the fuck they were dealing with. <laughs> 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 Let's go to Georgia. Wes, what do you got, buddy? Uh, yeah, man, I was wondering if y'all heard about this kid, Bryce Hopper, that's uh, talking about dropping out of high school and getting his GED so he can go into professional baseball early. Yeah, he's supposed to be some kind of phenom, right? Yeah, he's hit like a 570-foot home run. Throws like a 96-mile-per-hour fastball. 16 years old. Uh, and he should. Hey, mama. He should. Get, yeah, get yeah, your money when you can. Why not? I would no. I, I would maybe at least finish going through puberty. Ah, uh, fuck that. Then then kind of you know, I don't know. If get you, in there. If you're hitting 574 yeah. home runs and you can throw <laughs> the ball 96 miles an hour, guess what? High school's not for you. Oh yeah, thank you. Get yeah, the fuck yeah. out and make yeah, your fucking right. money. I guess you're right. Even they if you blow out your ball. arm in a year, <laughs> I can be convinced of anything. Yeah. Dude, yeah, they, all right. But even if you blow out your arm arm in a year, that's like. The average dude, that's like 20 years of work in the real world. Look, right? if that was my kid and he was making, he was 16 years old and he wanted to get like his GED, yeah. like I, I would. That's fine. Dude, I, I wouldn't be like, yeah, yeah, you no, know what? Dude, you'd because be a good argument. Yeah. I wouldn't even do the GED. Argument. I'm like, whatever. Let's, yeah. no, let's say goodbye okay, to high school right and now. let's say hello to the major leagues. Huh. I did this yesterday. You an argument what? to come back at the kid with. What's your argument? It's, uh, you should go to school. Why? But I can't make heads or tails of it. I didn't even take a good no picture of it. Getting uh, degrees. It's that's all right. I would, I would say stupid. You can't see it. You can't see it. I already yeah. think, you know, if I ever have kids, you can see it on the phone when you take college, it. Then that's... I would be like, yes, why I mean, would you? you? Some yeah. of it. I just... Do you want to be a doctor? I'll take a look at it. Unless you want to slice somebody open. Yeah. Or you want to make a bridge? Yeah. There's no uh-huh. fucking, it's just a waste of money. Yeah. Uh-huh. Just hang around, you'll get plenty of tail so you and save tail, yourself yeah. 50 grand. You the money you'd spend on your tuition, work. just go buy a car. Just get some fucking oh, work no, somewhere. No, get a job. <laughs> get, a, get a trade. <laughs> hey, we got the rednecks calling. They're very excited. Richie Rich, what's up? Hey, what's, what's going on, boy? Hey, yeah, man. Dude. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, Bill, brother. What's going on? Talladega, man. Talladega. Check it out. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I was there, man, and uh, a chick like Thank you. Rose in front of me. Good looking chick, man. Flashed the crowd or whatever, man. Don't worry about that. Sorry. Right down, dude. She threw a dip of snuff in, no doubt. <laughs> I couldn't hear what he said. She, she did what afterwards? She did some dip. Yeah, oh. she flashed. No, she did, 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 she down, turned around, right, no she flashed doubt. her tits, put the shirt back down, and did a little dip. That's what I'm there. saying. To sit there and drink next to a guy who talks like that sober, it would just be the greatest thing I ever. Mean. And you could see a car hit a wall at a buck right. eighty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it would just be fucking great. Richie Rich. Hey, hey, she was a hammer, man, no doubt. Richie Rich, do we sound funny to you? Because I know we got a lot of rednecks and, and southern guys that are listening to this show. We must do we sound funny to you like like you sound funny to us? <laughs> yeah, a little bit, man. <laughs> yeah, a little bit, little bit man. <laughs> right on, man. Right. That'll sound like Elvis. Yeah. Uh, man, <laughs> let me tell you something, man. I, I like, I, You're going to have yourself more trouble than a little bit. <laughs> hey, I'm going to punch you out, boy, before y'all give me any more hell, right? All right, All right, right. Richie Rich. Thank you, sir. Let's go to Footer. Footer. Yo, what's up, boys? Hey, I want to rewind a little bit. Sure. First of all, re- real quick, though, I can't believe how dumb they sound. Before you said that, open, uh, all these hillbillies are calling up. I'm going, holy fucking shit. These rednecks sound like idiots. But anyway. Um, <laughs> Jesus. Uh, 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 really quick, just to rewind. Um, we were talking about golf before and how, like, you know, we just don't get it. My dad, dude, he's like, you know, it's, a, it's like your fucking pop, man. He's like so cool to me, like cool guy. And he's telling me this story how he went to Augusta and he's going, yeah, as I walked over the fairway, he goes, it just, it choked me up. I got a tear in my eye. I want to fucking spit in his face, dude. That is like, I don't get it. I don't get fucking the whole golf thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, they're 
You know what? We we were sort of listening. They're a little distracted. So Danny, distracted. Danny put a picture up of some redneck with uh, playing horseshoes with toilet seats. They, is that is that a fucking sport down of there? Of course uh, it is. Toilet seat horseshoes. Part like the you, redneck Olympics. Come you on. You throw the fucking toilet seat like you would a horseshoe. It's one of those that have the you know, the little slit in the front. What do yeah. you call that? Yeah, of toilet course. seat, so you don't piss on the fucking toilet seat. Yeah, the opening in front. And you know there. the yeah. redneck's really trying because he has his tongue hanging out. That oh, means he's, he's concentrating. Yeah, he's really concentrating. He's <laughs> into toilet yeah. seat fucking horseshoes. Footer. So, Yo. so the story is your dad was telling some uh, some golf story, and you're like, "Holy shit, who gives a shit?" Well, you just in the fact of like you know your dad's a cool guy, and for him to tell you this story how he's walking uh, over a fairway and he gets a tear in his eye, I wanted to fucking spit on him. It was just I yeah. don't get shit like that. Yeah, you I know love. What I mean, I love golf. I don't take it that far. Right, and real quick to bring it back to me because you guys are distracted. Um, <laughs> you're off the big fat slaw, punching out. There you oh, go. Now wow. we're focused. There Thank you. I heard that. Yes. Uh, well, let's say hi to Bob in Georgia. Bob. <laughs> hey guys. Hey. I wanted to tell Bill about an event down here in Georgia called a Swine Time. Swine Time? Yeah, Swine Time. All right. uh, what they do is they get a bunch of kids and a bunch of old guys, and they grease up a pig and just have them run around in a hay bale, and you have to catch them. And it's b- between old old people and kids? Yeah, everybody just gets involved. First person to catch it wins like a T-shirt, I think it is. Oh, that sounds great. <laughs> you know what I love too is Peter probably doesn't have the balls to go down there and break that one Hell up. No. Oh no. Uh, and then after they're done with that, they have a chitlin eating contest. Oh Jesus. That must look wonderful. They have a they have an old guy down here called uh, Jack Wingate. He's a big fishing legend down here. Uh-huh. And he ate a chitlin that's about two feet long and just in one bite just right down. It was disgusting. Ugh. Now, well, let me get this straight. You basically, you boil the intestine in the shit smell. You get all yeah. the shit out of it. So he basically swallowed a, a pig colon. Oh. Yeah, and I work for a TV station down here. We filmed oh. the whole thing, and we just kept showing it over and over again. God, oh, that's awesome. Damn, that Do you have that online somewhere? Yeah, we got to see that. I could put it online. Well, you should have, bro. Oh, damn. That should be a YouTube I'll, I'll video. Put, I'll put it on YouTube, and I'll send Danny an email. All right, cool. Okay. We'd love to see it. Thank you. Let's go to Scott in Minnesota. Scott. Hey. Hey. What's going on? Uh, we do uh, pickup poles in uh, the state of Minnesota, and uh, we got 900 horse motors going underneath uh, pickups with flip bodies. I don't know what that means. That sounds like it's a real fast pickup with a what's a what's a flip body? It's a pickup pole where you pick a take a pickup, hook it to a sled, and see who can drag it. The farthest. Oh, gotcha. oh, pole. I think you said pole. Yeah, yeah. No, pole. If you guys go to YouTube and put Bad Kitty Polling Team in there, that's my cousin's truck or Facebook. Okay. Is that the kind of thing that will get you some pussy out there? Just out oh, of. Yeah. Uh, uh, actually, my cousin's uh, five foot, probably about 120 pound wife drives his. Pink, uh, F, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's just another world. Yeah, it is. Yeah, we, it's, it's a world. It's we, another planet. I gotta be, we, it's yeah. a world we don't understand. And it's, 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 it's like the ocean the, and it's fish. It's part of America. Go, go Can you imagine there. having a, a five foot, 120 pound wife? That, that's what she, he said that like it was the most normal thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's what that's what that's what they do. That's their together time. But you gotta admit, you know, they're not, they're not sitting around letting their brains turn to mush. Hell no. They're figuring out how to make their truck be able to drag more oh, shit. Let's yeah. not forget about noodling if we're going to be talking redneck stuff. Yeah, that's noodling great. rules. What is that? <laughs> See that? You've never seen noodling? Yeah, punch no. up a noodling clip. Are yeah. you kidding, Bill? Come on. You know what? This is this is. You've remi- never heard of noodling? No. Oh, okay. We got one for you. Uh, thank you, sir. Scott of oh. Minnesota, everyone. Uh... Uh, oh, this is good. As as Danny finds a noodling video, Jake in Kentucky. Jake. Yeah, every Fourth of July weekend, we get about thirty goats and down at Newburgh Beach on the Ohio River, and we have goat races. <laughs> goat races. That is it just a basic good. race, or or do you throw some kind of little twist in it? Well, they run about a hundred yards, and you can bet on them. They put numbers on them. <laughs> How do you get them to run? Shoot stick, at him. Huh? You stick something in their <laughs> high knees. Broke dynamite at him. <laughs> well, they smack him. Smack the goat and he'll start running. 
<laughs> they bet on the goat races. <laughs> I, I know this uh, drives here, Bill here's, nuts. Here's some Thank noodles. you, sir. No, it doesn't. Uh, you know something? I actually, I don't know if I've ever 20, told 20, this. 25. Wait, wait. Okay, small food. Yeah. Here's the noodling. Okay. All right. All right, here we go. First two, is coming out. Two guys in the water. Got the hole now. Up to their right. heads. I can't believe you've never <laughs> seen this. There you go. Man, that's Bill. a good fish, man. Yeah, I can't believe it. Look at it. Let him flop around a bit. Look at the fucking guns yes, on that guy. Sir. Yeah. You see what's happening there, fish. Bill? You stick your hand in a catfish's mouth? <laughs> no. You put it in a hole where they live. <laughs> and and they, in the, in the you the shake the your back fingers back. and they bite your arm and then you pull your yeah, arm up. Really, really. That's how they catch the catfish. That doesn't hurt? Well, of course it, it does. It, 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 that's it, that's it. good. That's good. He just licked his arm off in the dirty water. And go back in. That's how they fish for these fucking Yeah, the things. catfish live in these, like, like holes on the side see, there. See, bleeding. And you can't see because it's muddy, and they put their entire arm in the hole, Bill, and then the catfish bites on, and then you pull it out. He's bleeding. Would you do that? I No, I, they would have to squeeze my arm. Like, how hard does this hurt? You know, they'd fuck with me in the bar. No, the anticipation would be I, what would get I, me. I, I, yeah, I don't Look know. Look at the size of I these fucking fish, though. You know, Nothing but respect. I, I don't know how you would do that. The anticipation. That is a giant fucking fish. A huge, giant catfish. Dude, can I tell you something? Is, when when, stunning, when bankers sir. try to, to when bankers elbow. sit around trying to think how we're going to take over the world, they don't worry about guys like us. We're pussies. Those are the guys. We're like, okay, <laughs> yeah, we need yeah. propaganda to get these guys on our side. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Those guys know how to shoot. They know how to live in the wild. Amazing. Chicks doing it? Oh, they're not as good. Fuck no, man. That's always cracked me up about women, how e they want to do everything that we do, even the dumb stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Let me s fucking start boxing and stick my fucking hand in a goddamn... Yeah, I don't know what the hell I'm trying to say. Get a catfish to bite my fucking arm. Yeah. They put their tits in there. Just like... <laughs> Hot girls doing it. That's amazing. Jeff in Kentucky. Jeff? Hey, what's going on, boys? Hey. Hey, talking about rednecks, I was at the Kentucky Speedway this past weekend to watch the Nationwide Series stock car race, and they had these extend girls there, these extends, I guess, these penis pills. Yeah, the boner pills. <laughs> right. And these dumbass rednecks were lined up around the corner to take a picture with these gangs, and they were giving them away these hats, and, and all day long you see all these rednecks wearing these red hats to say extends, basically just advertising, I have a small dick. <laughs> I need a bigger dick. <laughs> they were all over the place. <laughs> All right, thank you. Free hat to them. All right, let's go to Jim in Indiana. We're on to this uh, redneck culture thing. Jim. you got to get the Dukes of Hazard theme going now. Yeah, Jim. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, yeah, there's a couple of DVDs at some of the truck stops I go to. They're all going to grab it, and there's these hot chicks in bikinis that do this noodling, wrestling these 50-pound cats. It's really awesome. <laughs> Girls, gone grabbing. Girls gone grabbing. Yeah. Yes. Jesus Christ. <laughs> People will just buy anything. Mm -hmm. Definitely something to check out if you can find How is that? Right. Absolutely. How is that really? Thank you. Huh? Wesley Trucker. Wes. Hey, uh, Bill Burr, uh, you're missing the greatest part about that race. You got to be in the camper uh, lot at night. You listen to guys fighting, fucking, and drinking beer all night long. It's <laughs> funny as shit. <laughs> 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 it's, it's, it's the greatest part of the race is to be in the, the camper lot at night. <laughs> at night. It's all <laughs> fucked up to fucking No, you got to understand, fighting. dude. Like, every hotel is packed. Uh, yeah. And people, are, everybody's got their fucking RVs, and the, everywhere you go, there's these signs that just say "Welcome race fans," and it's just public drinking. <laughs> it's 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 One a big party. It's fantastic. Thank yeah, you. they they fight fucking uh, drink beer all night long in the trailer park. It's funny as hell. Oh, that's great. <laughs> as hell. They fight fucking drink, that's funny as hell. I'll tell you that boy, <laughs> he'd fuck a rock if he thought a snake was under it. <laughs> You're like, what? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it is like, what are you talking about? What does that mean? I love it. <laughs> Damn. All right, we got to keep doing this. Don in Jersey. Doesn't even make sense. Boy, no. don't have sense enough to pick up a penny if you saw a dime. Yeah. What? what? By the way, if, what you're do you mean the, by that? if you're on the phones and you sound sort of like me or Ann or Bill Burr, hang up immediately. Yeah, yeah I want to hear some more of those southern sayings oh, like that shit. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. Fuck yeah. Let's learn a little, learn that a little bit That boy fuck today. mud. Yeah, Don in Jersey. Don't know whether to fight fuck or wind yeah, my wristwatch. <laughs> wristwatch. What? Don. 
Yeah. We, uh, we seen a thing on TV the other day with the uh, Rednecks racing these old trucks around the track. They had to, uh, all had to pull trailers. Camper trailers, boat trailers. Oh, shit. <laughs> and all the other guys had to try and knock the trailers off. And <laughs> Last guy told the trailer was the winner. <laughs> that sounds pretty. That would be pretty cool to watch. Oh, but what does he get? A free Grand Slam breakfast at Denny's? Yeah, damn, yeah. Uh, and I see the thing in, down in Florida. They had a motorcycle demolition derby. That's not oh, a motorcycle. A there motorcycle demolition derby? Yeah, it was crazy. These guys are beat up old bikes, smashing each other, knocking everybody off. What the fuck? That's, right, that's what they call, man. Fun, yeah. Let's go to Ross in Tennessee. Ross. Hey, boys. How you all doing this morning? What's Pretty up, good, man? Ross. Hey, I was calling to tell Bill. He was talking about his pit bull yesterday, and I'm a big fan of pit bulls, Bill. Got to love you. Breed of dog there. But uh, if you go over to my uncle's house with two of my cousins, right when you pull onto the property, they got a sign in the front yard that said, never mind the owner, beware of the cock. And when I mean cock, I mean fighting roosters. They've got, my uncle's got a rooster standing about two feet, maybe two and a half feet tall. That's the meanest fucking rooster you've ever goddamn seen. They're ripping fucking eyes at you. Get out of the damn car, I promise you. So, got an you know what I love about like these guys? They actually have references to other roosters. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I know this is the meanest goddamn rooster you ever saw. I've never seen I've one. Never seen a I've never seen a rooster. I don't know how <laughs> mean they are. I, just, I can't compare it to anything. Yeah, yeah I have no. Fucking... I need to see one for the first time, and then maybe someday I could go. Wow, am, you know. Yeah. I saw another. Dude, rooster. that's why you got to go to those things because they start right. telling you stories with shit like you don't have a reference to. Right. It's April, so the bullfrogs are out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You're just like, uh, no, no, I don't. Yeah. No. I know the big old ones. <laughs> Big old, not the little ones yeah. like you see there in uh, I don't know. Springtime. It's like, I'm, a con- I'm a concrete walker. I really don't yeah. know what you mean. I'll tell you, this bullfrog could have failed family eight. <laughs> it's like a big buck and a KFC chicken, right? <laughs> so I got my slingshot. <laughs> All right, we're going to get some sayings now. Slingshot. Travis, I'm enjoying the music, but slightly lower. Because our phones aren't as crisp as they should be. Uh, Charles, South Carolina, what's going on? Hey, what's up, guys? I got some good Southern sayings. Uh, yeah. Hiding three squirrels, three squirrels fucking in a wolf spot. Hiding than three queers in a sleeping bag. Oh, slow down, slow down. Uh, yeah, slow down. Hotter than three squirrels in a wolf sock. Hotter than two squirrels fucking in a wolf sock. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Hiding than three queers in a sleeping bag. Uh, more screwed up than a brother's checkbook. Uh, that boy a fucking rattlesnake if he held his head. That's all kind of funny ones. <laughs> I like how he cleaned up the racist one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, right, right. You know what that was supposed to be. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, we don't do that down here. Of course right, not, man. Of course not. Let's go to Jim in Florida. Jim? Hey, uh, down here at New Smyrna Beach Speedway uh, in New Smyrna Beach, they race uh, RVs and school buses, <laughs> and my brother-in-law's near the striped ass <laughs> snake. <laughs> school <laughs> bus races? There's so much going on here with these phone calls. But you calls. know what's funny? It's the a- excitement in the phone caller. And us just laughing because we have no concept uh, of this. I, I yeah, but that. as much as we're making fun of them like it's dumb, they actually know how Dude. to fucking soup up a bus. Yeah. How, how so bad you do you want to go? It. How bad do you want to go to one of these events though? Yeah. I'd go check out school buses. That trailer racing. one sounds like a pisser. Dude, drinking outside of a Waffle House right before you go, and it's the greatest <laughs> fucking. All right, we got another southern. <laughs> Nine in the morning. <laughs> Jason in Indiana. Jason. Good evening. Hey, Jason. Uh, the biscuits are so good If you put them on top of your head Your tongue can beat your brains out Trying to get to them <laughs> where, did, where did they come up with Yeah <laughs> What's in the- <laughs> All right, man. It's, We might as well be talking a foreign language Like turkey shit through a tin horn Yeah <laughs> What uh, Let me see Fashion shit through a goose right, We got another one yeah, yeah. That's right Let's go to Chris mm-hmm. in Georgia Chris Hey what's going on Open Hey buddy. Right, man. We used to say, to say oh, uh, nervous boy, you know, kind of, you know, kind of edgy boy. We used to say he's nervous as a long-tailed cat in a room full of rocking chairs. I heard that one. I heard that one. I heard that one. That's that the one first one I've up, heard. That one made it up north. Yeah, that one made it up here. Thank you, Chris. All right, let's go to Bug in Florida. Bug. Hey, fellas, how you doing? All right, Bug. Hey, man, we go over to my cousin's place. Uh, my yeah. uncle, he raises uh, fainting goats. Their uh, their legs stiffen up when they get scared. And they oh, yeah, we've oh, seen we're, well, Hold on. We're big fans of the fainting goat. You've seen the fainting The wild boys. I saw them do it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's probably why we know it, yeah. Bug? Yeah, so we, every 10 minutes or so, we uh, set off a bottle rocket, and we bet on which one will fall over first. <laughs> Oh, I'm loving this. All right, let's go to uh, Chris in Virginia. Chris. 
What's up, boys? Hey. Uh, in Tennessee and Texas, there's these ponds that have alligator gar. Yeah. And you start up the motor, and they jump out of the water. And rednecks combine two fun things, killing fish and bow and arrows. Get Danny to punch it up on YouTube. The fish jump out of the water, and they shoot it with a bow and arrow and reel it in. Wait, so. What? It's called bow fishing. Bow fishing? bow fishing? How do you get them to jump out of the water? When you run the motor on idle, it's it's on the and they jump right up out of the water and you shoot them with a bow and arrow. There's a dozen videos under aerial bow fishing on uh, YouTube. Let's check out aerial bow fishing. All right. Dude, that's craziest that's shit you ever saw. serious skill, though. Yeah, yeah, What's yeah, harder yeah, than that? Hitting a curveball or uh, <laughs> shooting a fucking fish Dude, out of the... I, I would try to shoot fucking fish at yeah, the water. Yeah, try to That's please. a tough one, man. Why not? Oh, it's, it's, it's a fucking right. We're trying playing. to find. Did you go with aerial? Yeah, aerial bow fishing. Internet's being slow today. Okay. We're, we're, uh, we're waiting. We're waiting. This is bow fishing, bugle mouth hogs. The phones are lit. What does that mean, man? They got a reel right on the bow, and you shoot it and reel it in. Two foot, three foot catfish. Well, let's see what happens Holy here. Shit. I think we might have found one. All right, we're. Uh... I took the engine out of my garbage disposal. <laughs> Just like, oh god, what did you do? <laughs> <laughs> Where does it go from there, dude? Holy oh, you shit. Re- reel them in and they're done. You, you God damn. Oh, 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 you don't have to do that. He's beating him over the head with a big fucking piece of log. Well, you got to get him to behave. You, you got to calm that fucker down, let me tell you. Right. It's good eating if you get the, get the yeah, knife. Yeah, it's good eating. That sure is. That's good eating. You got to clobber him over the head. Let's say hi to John in Virginia. John. Hey, John. <laughs> hey, John. <laughs> I was at a party a few years ago, and this guy was just wrecked. And he said, boy, I'm more fucked up than a cricket in a hubcap. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, come back to Raleigh. All right, man. Oh, God. Yeah. Uh, Bill, can you ever reference that, ever? <laughs> What's that? In a a hub- cricket in uh, a hubcap? Yeah, I never would have thought of as that. As far as what? Just life experience. No, but it makes sense now. Yeah, it it makes sense. I guess it jumps in there, and it gets fucked in, rattled all around. Yeah, yeah. Of course it makes sense, but... We would never reference that. Oh, no, ever. No, no. That's what I mean. All right. Let me say hi to Wayne in Virginia. Wayne. Hey, what's up, boys? Hey. Hey, man, it's uh, that brother so fast, he's like an egg falling from a tall chicken. Okay. I ain't never heard that one, man. <laughs> well, there Look you go. At this. Holy Fuck Jesus. Now. These fish are jumping like Jesus six Christ. feet out of the water. That can't be real. And they are shooting the fucking uh, amazing. foes at them, man. That's pretty cool. They just got to be shooting into it, hoping they hit something. Oh, yeah, of course. Dude, look at that. Fuck Brick Breaker. Oh! oh wow. Slow-mo. I got, wow, that's that a guy great got shot. One. Look at that. That I would fucking do that all day. They jump out of the water, and then you shoot them with the bow. That is. Holy sh- You think Peter would have a problem a with that shot. one, Bill? Uh, yeah. Dude, this is why we're at the top of the food chain. Oh, yeah, yeah. We look, got look bored we with, can do. with killing. We, we can our do food, that, and so. we can play banjos. Yeah. Yep. Wow, that is pretty cool. Why doesn't Peter take this shit on? They Damn. The, they don't have the balls to go right down through. There. Right through. Nice. It's amazing. Uh. Oh. Let's say He's hi doing to it at night. Let's say hi to Doug oh. and with a lit arrow. Look at that shit. Amazing, Doug. Yeah. Hey. I was going to say, you know, those guys are so close, they're pissing out the same dick. They're so close, they're pissing out the same dick. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to Matt in Oklahoma. Matt. Yeah, if uh, there's flickering goose shit on a brass doorknob, and if it rains a lot, it's a real turd floater or a gully washer. <laughs> <laughs> These guys can't wait to get I on. Uh, Carl, Arkansas. That motherfucker took my line. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, Carl. Coral. Anything else? I like the way you talk. Yeah, we like I like, I like the way you talk. <laughs> <laughs> he does it way better. Of course he does. <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't have to try. No. Nope. I was going to say that uh, the guy was slicker than snot on a doorknob. But oh, guy, dang. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, out. bro. And he said brass doorknob. Yeah. Evidently, brass is slicker. I would never know, of yeah, course, because. Yeah. God damn. Rob on Long Island. Rob. Yeah, when you're real horny, you're hotter than a half fucked fox in a forest fire. Fuck it up. Hotter than a half fucked fox there. In a forest fire. In a forest fire. Uh, let's go to Tank in Oklahoma. Hey, God. 
Got Doyle's band playing yeah, in the background. Sure is. Sling Why don't blade. you go home and practice, Randy? <laughs> Randy, play through it. You gotta play through it. Get the fuck out. Love fucking love that movie. Tank, what do you got? Dick Dale. Dick Dale. Down, 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 down. And then so, the drum fill. That, that's <laughs> such, it's so perfectly awful. It's horrible. Listen to that. It's all <laughs> off. Did it, did it. <laughs> it's all off. <laughs> We're getting the band back together. Get my guitar out of the garage. And he kicks everyone out. I love that. Doyle was a douchebag. You know, I've always wondered if musicians do that shit. Like the same way comedians will sit around and deliberately do bad jokes and yeah, shit. Yeah. Like if they deli deli like try to have a contest of the worst riff See ever. how bad you can fucking play. <laughs> and what's his name? Who's the guy that played Doyle? He's a musician. Dwight Yoakam. Yeah, no, Dwight Yoakam. Dwight. So. Yeah. Because like, what makes that great is it, it, uh, it almost sounds fixable. Yeah, yeah. Like if somebody <laughs> actually had some true musical talent, they could take that idea <laughs> and, make and either attach it to something else or just, I don't know, smooth it out. Yeah. Oh, they, they know what they need to do to make it a great yeah. song. Amazingly they, they just twist bad. it slightly you know, so it works perfectly for the movie. We'll take, bow, it, bow, we'll take bow, another bow, break. Bow, 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 Big bow, drum fill. Drum fill. Now, now, now. <laughs> <laughs> it's all off. Hey, Bill, what are you promoting, man? You're doing a great job for us here. Billbird.com. You got the uh, punchline gig in San Francisco. Yep, July 13th. And uh, after that, I think like the following week, like the week of July 25th, that weekend, I'm going to be at the uh, uh, Comedy Works in okay. Denver, Colorado. One of my favorite uh, gigs, man. Yeah. Two, well, actually, both those, one of the two best comedy clubs. Nice. Other than Caroline's right here in there New York you City. If you're uh, a fan, go to BillBurr.com to find out where he's going to be. Uh, phones are great. We'll go back to the phones in just a bit, but first this. <laughs> oh, right on. Hey, C. Dixie. Yes, I remember these guys. Turn it up, Travis. Let's go. I remember this, man. Makes me stiffer than a dime store engine. <laughs> God damn. I tell you. That's good music right there. Yeah. That's good music. Someone's trying to turn us on to Moaning Girl or Formula One Racer. Come on, Randy. Hilarious, this person saying. Want to see if that's anything, Danny? Uh, it's on instant feedback. No, I can't hear anything. Well, have Oh, my computer's in the middle of rebooting. I don't know what's going on. Ah, well, God dang, computer. iPhone. Then, then, then. The iPhone thing is fucking The height of these everybody. chairs keeps mushing my nuts. You know, you're you know, right. Like when you sit on an airplane like too chairs. long, you just yeah, fucking yeah. your ball I'm bag. Con is I've noticed I'm constantly shifting in this fucking chair. These chairs are not comfortable. They're just not. Yeah. Ah, oh, we have to sit in them for hours and make jokes <laughs> <laughs> i just realized what i was complaining about some guys out there with a jackhammer <laughs> and i'm like my chair isn't comfortable for my four-hour bitch fest that should be a job that just doesn't exist anymore like they should I was saying they the come same up with fucking anything thing. Dude, it should be lasers that just and cut holes in the ground Bam! there's still some big bruiser with a jackhammer his second job is he fucking. He's behind an oxen. There's plowing fucking, a field. Yeah, there, there's film of people using the exact same thing in black and white. You shouldn't be using anything <laughs> that hasn't changed at all just, from when it was in black and white films. You see his, his entire body just vibrating. Yeah. You, you think to yourself, that can't be good. For no, you. no. It's probably just get home. He's pissing blood. Right. His kidneys are busted up like graham crackers. Isn't it like back in the day, like guys, like. They did that too long, and the, their body would just never stop shaking. Oh, yeah, they oh, great. start shaking. That's wonderful. Or the riveters on the buildings, the fucking riveters, where they would throw hot rivets <laughs> to each other. One guy had, like, a catcher's mitt made out of leather, and the other guy would be by the big... <laughs> 
thing that kept the, the fire stoked. And they'd throw these red, red hot rivets. The guy would catch it, put it in the hole, and then the riveter would go, bam, and rivet the fucking things and put buildings together. It's like, what the fuck is. See, no one does that anymore. There's new shit. <laughs> Like yeah, there's not people sitting rivets. on girders eating lunch. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that was a fucking photo op. Exactly, Anatomy. sitting on. No, they, they did that. It was sick. Who the fuck would sit on a? No way. Dude, I saw it when they were when they were, build, no. when they were building no the. No way. No way. Was this garbage? <laughs> when they when they were building the Brooklyn Bridge, like I forget, there was some ridiculous amount of people would die every day. Yeah. Not me. Yeah. No way. It's crazy. Not once. Not never. <laughs> uh uh-uh. uh Like the Brooklyn Bridge. Yeah. Was the fucking. Well, yeah. first of all, they would they dug down so far and they didn't understand the bends, and they'd bring people up, and they notice these guys they they start you know whatever, doubling yeah, over. Double over. So then they like after a few days they're like, oh, he's having a problem too. Hurry up, bring him up, bring him up, which would make <laughs> it like, worse. Uh, they didn't have a decompression chamber in there. The, it was like uh, it was an airlock uh, to keep the air in the the what was it called? Not a stanchion, but a fucking whatever that base piece is. So they would just open up the airlock, and all of a sudden you go from having all this pressure on you to keep the water. The pressure was to keep the water from coming in underneath and drowning you. So they kept it pressurized, and then they just pop you out the lid. They go, okay, you're okay, and then nitrogen bubbles would start in your blood. Just Uh, just double over in pain and agony and die. That's that's that diving thing. You got to be fucking careful. Yeah. Uh, You want more redneck stuff? Okay, man. Well, yeah. Uh, Walter, there. Louisiana. We'll start with you. You know, eventually these are going to just start getting racist here. So of it's going to be I, a It's got to take the hand. Yeah, the same fucking Walter? ugly route it always takes. Yeah. I got a question for Bill Burr. What's up? What do you call a redneck woman with two black eyes? I don't know. A slow learner. All right. I've heard versions of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's go to Tank in Oklahoma. Tank. Hey, man. Tank. Hey, guys. Hey, oh, yeah, I'm listening to the Sorry. radio. John in Texas. John. Hey, b- 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 boy. Hey, John. What's wrong with the Kibbele sins we got? Anyway. Might be through with this. Yeah. <laughs> I got the uh, hotter than a two-packer billy goat. Uh, ain't had this much fun since the hogs ate my little brother. <laughs> <laughs> What the hell does that even? <laughs> that had to happen once. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's how they get away with murder out there. They feed you to the pigs. Oh fuck! What a great. You ever movie. see that story in Amy? Then the guy's threat when he came to the girl, witnessed the murder, and he's just like, "Pigs gotta eat too." Mm-hmm. She's like, "All right, I'm shutting the fuck up now." There's a great scene <laughs> in Snatch where they do that very thing. You ever see Snatch? Oh yeah. Snatch is a great movie, man. Snatch. 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 Okay. Uh, Joe the pump uh, pumper. Or plumber. Joe, what do you got? Hey, you Yankee sons of bitches. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, now, if all these dumbass rednecks down here, if they even knew what XM radio or Sirius or any of that bullshit was, they'd say y'all's more fucked up than a shit sandwich. I think I heard that one. But, but then, you, but you God would have dang. to have someone that actually makes shit sandwiches. No. I just like the ones that don't make sense. Yeah. It makes sense to somebody. Let's go to uh, Mason. Mason. Hey, hey. Down here in Florida, man. Yeah. Hey, we're fucked up down here on the panhandle. Uh, if something's too expensive, it's higher than giraffe pussy. <laughs> That's higher than giraffe pussy. Now, if something's God real damn cunt, it won't fit, uh, that's tighter than the nun's cunt, man. <laughs> You got to throw in the man. Man. Yeah, man. It's yeah, tighter man. than a nun's cunt, man. I got to well, these are great sayings. I haven't had as much fun since the pigs ate my little brother. Yeah, goddamn with that fun. Dude, this will get me out of trouble one day on a gig. I'll just go into that accent and throw a couple of those sayings out. I'll be yeah. fine. Be fucking dandy. Hey, if a girl's real hot, she's finer than frog's hair. Think about it. Think about uh, I've it. heard that one. Yeah. Finer than frog's hair. Hey, and if she's ultra fine, super hot, I'd walk two miles over broken glass to hear her fart in a walkie-talkie. walkie-talkie. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Uh, ah, that's great. Ah, bravo. Let's go to Ronnie in South Carolina. Uh, Ronnie. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, got a 
saying? That boy's uh, that boy's way through hell just to fight a grizzly bear with a switch. Way through hell to fight a grizzly bear with a switch. Yes, sir. All right. All right, man. That All must right. be a badass dude. Let, yeah. Let's go to Kansas, Danny. Yeah. How hey. about uh, that bitch was uglier than a gunny sack full of smashed assholes? <laughs> <laughs> a gunny sack full of smashed assholes. Uh, let's go to Frankie. Frankie. Is any, any source on that? What the fuck is a gunny sack? Nothing? Uh, I don't even want to know. Okay. It'll, it'll take away from it. <laughs> Frankie. Hey, fellas. Hey. Uh, my brother's a Pennsylvania redneck, and uh, three of his favorites are, uh, that tastes so good, I want to swallow my tongue to get more of the taste. Uh, I like okay. that. Uh, oh. Fuck me running. <laughs> uh, <laughs> which is, I, I like that one. But they, uh, 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 fuck, punch it out. <laughs> All right, he, oh, he, the just, third he one. just got out before the plane crashed. Yeah. Uh, John, Kansas. Yeah, hey boys, love hey. you, love hey, you. Hey, Hey, check out on YouTube, uh, motorized bar stools. Uh, uh, yeah, we've com- seen motorized uh, bar stools. Yeah. Have you seen combine demolition? Combine oh, demolition. Fuck, that sounds like a good one. Yeah, check that out. And then uh, up here in Kansas City, we got uh, lawnmower races. Yeah, that's the one. Have I don't, seen that? Yeah, I've seen the lawnmower races too, where they modify the lawnmowers and they go what, like 50, 60 miles an hour. At least some of them go like ninety. <laughs> That's and amazing. A, uh, and a, lawnmower. Yeah. Yeah, a lawnmower. And then, uh, as far as things go, how about this one? Drier than a popcorn fart. Drier than a popcorn fart. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I'm punching out. All right. Finer than frog hair. I heard on a Les Claypool album. Oh yeah. 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 He Less used that expression. I thought that was his lyric. Les is yeah. all right, man. He's finer than frog hair. We got, He's got that alligator stare. Louis. Hey, Louie. Hey, man. What's up, hey, Louie? What are you doing in town? <laughs> Louis C.K., everyone. What are you doing in town? I live in New York. Oh, that's <laughs> I right. live in New York. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about Penn's new movie called uh, Tim's Vermeer. This thing is fascinating, to okay. say the least. A friend of mine painted a Vermeer without ever painting before. Using a using a device. And he made a movie. That, uh, Don't you have to it. be Vermeer to paint a Vermeer? <laughs> you think so? Yeah. Uh, almost by definition, right. it's not a Vermeer if someone else paints exactly. it. So it is. We are using some sloppy yeah. language there, Louis. Yeah. And thanks for busting us on that. Hence, yeah. Tim's Vermeer. I Tim's Vermeer. A Van Halen song last night. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Louis Van Halen. <laughs> Louis Van Halen. <laughs> <laughs> Louis Van Halen. Yeah, you're really supposed to be Vermeer to paint. Hey, you know what I'm addicted to watching uh, is your. Um, it would be funny if it was totally unrelated. Yeah. I'm totally into Downton Abbey. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, your show, um, 
bullshit? No, the one that the sh- fool you fool, fool us, us, yeah, fool us. It's really good. Yeah. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> it's totally. We're addictive. actually it's actually yeah. coming out on uh, CW. They're going to show all the uh, English, it's English shows, right? It's yeah. from BBC. We did it. We did it over in uh, England. Actually, Channel Four. It's really good. But we're doing uh, mm. the uh, the English. It's exactly like the Beatles right. in this one way. Uh, <laughs> the nine <laughs> shows we did over in England become ten shows over here. Mm. Ah, right. Because of more commercial time and so yeah. on. So. Like but, the way Beatles albums were re- Well, sure. remember yesterday and today. Yeah. Yeah. Beatles, yesterday and today yes. is the Beatles record that doesn't exist in England, only over here. Right. And that's mm. why the Beatles did Butcher cover. Right. Because they thought they were butchering the records by putting a couple songs off to make more money in the U.S. That's right. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Nothing to do with that's Butcher cover is worth a lot of money now. Yeah, have, the Butcher was, cover. I have no. two of them. You do? I have one because when uh, I went into interviews and they said, if I wanted to know all the secrets to your show, uh, what would you give up all the secrets for? And I said, if I have an unpeeled, sealed Beetle butcher cover, <laughs> I so want crazy. it in mint condition. No By the way, there are 10 in the world. I want one of them. <laughs> wow. You give me one of those, I will tell you how every secret in the show is done. You sit down with me, I'll tell you everything. <laughs> nice. I, I, you? I said that I said that in an interview, said that in a bunch of interviews, thought it was really, really funny. About three weeks later, <laughs> No. There came a beetle butcher cover, beautifully packed with everything everything there. I pulled it out, held it up. There was a note with it that said, love teller, now shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> so teller got me the beetle butcher cover so and just wait, put an end on that. It's the one you don't need. It's... It's, it has the new cover. It has yesterday and today, and you hold it up to the light, and you, and can, you can see, see the butcher Ringo, cover uh, Ringo's uh, black turtleneck, mm, and you can right. see him holding a bloody doll. Right. How yeah. much is it worth, you think? How much? I don't know now. I mean, when John Lennon was shot, I was like, yes! Cha-ching! 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 Harrison is dead. I'm waiting till the other two kick it, yeah. and then, yeah! Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, probably thousands, not tens of thousands. Yeah, right. Wow, that's yeah. pretty cool. Unless to take it to the Pawn Stars place, then they'll be like, ah, yeah. we gotta frame it. <laughs> ah, you know, there's no real market. The Beatles no. weren't a very popular band. <laughs> ah, ten bucks. Yeah. What are we? I think, I'm so glad you like Fool Us. I'm so I love glad watching you it. Have you seen any of it? No. No, it's How guys, see it? no, not that one. No. You would see it illegally, like Illegal, uh, okay. like, uh, like Louis YouTube. does. I watch oh, it on yeah. YouTube. Oh, and, right. uh, I'm gonna go check uh, that out. The gag is, magicians. We did this all legit. There was no, there was no. Uh, I mean, we were kind of nuts about how legit we were. Yeah. We 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 were separate rehearsal days and right. and uh, magicians come out and do a trick for us once live, Teller and I watching it. They do it once live in front of a live audience, and then Teller and I have. A minute or two to talk about it and if we cannot figure out how the trick is mm. done they get a shit ton of money <laughs> and get to fly to vegas and open for our show oh yeah. cool pretty cool um and uh as it went on and as it got more popular in england it was pretty successful over there uh People started writing tricks just to fool us. Just, oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> and uh, they didn't care at all about entertaining the audience. Right. They were just trying to fool us. Right. And I don't know if you saw these bastards from um, from uh, the Netherlands, I think. They were they from, so- the guy wrapped his face in tape or something? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And he, those guys, yeah. they did a move that they didn't do. Which made me crazy. He uh. brought his hand over the deck and palmed off a card when he didn't have to. Oh, so we so got, yeah. got that thrown in and think it's some <laughs> part it's of the... It's all about fooling them now. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's not yeah. about the trick anymore. They didn't care at all wow. about the trick. And our good friend, Johnny Thompson, who's the best magic mind alive, he's just a, a genius, Right. Uh, he was in charge of helping them. So they would say that for the for the good of the show, probably... One out of every ten magicians should fool Penn and Teller. So Johnny would go back and go, I know Penn doesn't know about this move. <laughs> Put this in there. And so they were being directed and helped and stuff. I, th- it's, I think it's the best show uh, we've wow, done. It's pretty great. Is it there was to one guy who he that. had these cards, like, figured it out. I don't think you did. You don't think so? Because no. I think he has a deck made that... Uh, depending on what the card is, yes, he has. It he has out. He has four outs. Right, exactly. He's uh, got the. He's got yeah. the color. Right, and the higher but low. It's, it is a combination, and in, in magic, 
the hardest tricks to figure out are the tricks with multiple outs. Right. Which means mm. the punchline you see is not the punchline it's going to be every right. time. Right. So you're trying to figure out how can he do this trick every time, mm. and he's got another five tricks he can do, and you don't know when he's going to fork. Oh, because wow. he's got, I figured out, he's got this deck, and since it's white on all sides, yeah, yeah, yeah. he doesn't have a front or back problem. Right. right. So as soon as he asks somebody, is, the, is, is it red or black, then he just does this yeah. value. Yeah, and then he's got, he's and then got, he's a, got, he's got like, another is it higher or low? Just do this. Kind but he of also had that box uh -huh. at the table the just to fuck up. Yeah. Does it yeah. a certain? Yeah. And then he had this box that he kept talking about the box. Yeah. And so uh, uh, these guys decided it's it's the box. The box is the thing. <laughs> right. And so he opens the box and the box says no. <laughs> so he even had a clever way of saying fuck you. <laughs> yes, he knew exactly. Cool. Exactly. And some of the guys would come out and uh, do a fabulous routine and then look at us and go, yeah, I, I know you got it. Thanks. Good night. <laughs> Not really. I'm on TV. Already. I'm on yeah, TV. But what they they got, didn't it. they blow the trick by telling you how well, they see, did it? That's or no? what we did. They were told backstage. They were told backstage. The producers told them if if Penn and Teller get it, they will uh, tell you they got it, and they will give you little hints. And if you believe they've really got it, be polite, walk away. <laughs> they will never bust your trick. If you if you, make if them you push, prove it, you're going to lose. Your, if you push, lose your trick. Yeah. Yeah. Pen yeah. will take you out. Yeah. <laughs> so don't. And there's one guy who was doing. He did a beautiful routine. I don't yeah. know if you saw. He did coins across and hands. He had two audience members hold their hands out, time. and he moved coins across here and there. Right. Mm. So uh, he finishes up, and it was a beautiful routine. I mean, it killed. It destroyed. And he was kind of, uh, kind of punk goth type guy and Teller and I go to our little discussion where the audience can't hear and Teller goes um, the coin shells are magnetic and the big kind of ring on his left hand is a magnet and he's pulling them off with that so he doesn't have to palm and can hold his hands flat it's the ring that's magnetized okay so uh, I go uh, yeah okay cool so they come to us you know the audience hasn't heard this and I go oh man Great routine. Never seen that done that well. That's great. Uh, I think we've got it. I think we have it. He goes, well, I don't think you do. And I go, yeah, okay. Well, uh, what I'm asking is, would you be able to do that in a different wardrobe than you're wearing? Right. And All he right. says, uh, yes, I could. And I go, okay. Uh, would you be able to do it with uh, with uh, different jewelry, changing your watch and so on? He goes, my watch has nothing to do with it. Uh, <laughs> you're an idiot. That's you're right. Dummy. That's right. Your watch has nothing to do with it. But I'm just saying, if you were doing it, with no jewelry at yeah, all, yeah. would the trick still work? And he goes, I don't know. And I go, listen, <laughs> asshole, you've got a magnetic ring on your left hand. It's the big one that looks like the devil. They're all shells on top of the coins. You're pulling the coins out. That's the way you did it. Get off the stage. Nice. <laughs> and the guy is just totally heartbroken. Uh, well, and he was, the, he was the yeah. only one that we really ripped the new asshole because yeah, we told dick. him. Right. Good magician, yeah. Yeah, shitty usually, hint taker. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's usually this really careful. Was it a trick? And the guy's like, yeah, 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 that's enough. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, there, were, there were those. And there was someone else. And I really, I really should should tip this, but I'm going to figure it's away from their act, and enough people won't put it together. Sure, but, right. but the one that made me laugh the most was we. Uh, it was a, a guy and a woman, I guess, and the guy vanished on stage and appeared in the back of the theater. All right. Okay. And it was a really good trick. And they were like 19 years old. Okay. Mm -hmm. And they were good. They finished the whole act and uh, tell, her, t tell her and I look at each other. We didn't say a word. We just look at each other. I go, okay, we got it. And we come back to the guy and I go... If Teller and I weren't old and fat, yeah. if we were 19 and could run as fast as you could and could do everything as fast as you could, could we do this trick? And the guy goes, well, I don't know. And I go, <laughs> right, okay. Let me tell you, uh, I, have, uh, I have an older sister. And Teller's an only child. <laughs> if we could run as fast yes. as you, could we do this trick? Well, 
Uh, is there a genetic component <laughs> to your trip? Oh, <laughs> and I said, uh, he said, uh, I don't know exactly what that question means. Oh, yes, I said, you is do. there someone else in your family that appeared in this trick that not everyone here is aware of? <laughs> and he goes, oh, I don't know what. I said, okay, here's what's going to happen. You are twins, identical twins. The guy in the back, the the guy I'm talking to now is not the guy that started the trick. You are twins, and you are 19 years old, and you are magicians, and you have a whole career ahead of you, and I'm not willing to blow it. So what we're going to do right now is to only blow it for this audience here. We're going to go back to be saying, could we do this trick? And you're going to well, say no, that, and then, you and then you're going to the smile. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> and you're going to go away, okay? Because I'm the nicest guy in the world. 